In requesting the Elemental's assistance to find Jostola, you must needs be aware of one difficulty. A difficulty born of the fundamental difference between man and Elemental. That being... In perceiving the world around him, man relies upon senses such as sight and sound. For the sake of convenience, he gives names to such things as are near or dear to him. Being formed of pure ether, however, such concepts are foreign to the elementals. Instead, they perceive by observing the ebb and flow of the energies of life. So profound a division cannot be bridged with simple discourse. The elemental's voices stir not the air, and thus reach not our ears, while our words are but wind to them. Though we seers can commune with them through feelings, naught that we can impart will serve to aid them in identifying Yshtola. Nay, they must needs be presented with ether which is akin to hers. If you could but find a family member. Oh! I know just the person! Yastola has a sister who came to live in Gridania. She told me about her once. Oh, that is most fortunate indeed. Pray, seek this sister out then and bring her to Evershade. There. We shall petition the Great One's aid in finding your lost companion.
let us begin. Raya O, Arun, if you would. Hearken to me, O oh Great Ones. Pray, give yourselves to the life stream, a drifting soul to find. Please, Yastola, please come back to us. There. Now! A room has been readied at the roost. Pray, bear her thither at once. All that remains is to pray, my friends. <laughs> 